Ableton Live is probably the best audio program when it comes to electronic live performance. It's a lot of fun to start any loop in time, to record a synthesizer phrase that runs immediately in time and to use filters and other devices to give your performance more dynamic and make it even more interesting. My name is Thomas Foster and in this video series I will show you everything you need to know to make an outstanding performance and how to connect any MIDI controller to Ableton Live. Good to have you here, let's go! So this is Ableton Live and here on the right upper side you see a very important button. Here you can change between the arrangement view, that is the normal timeline that you know from other doors, and the session view. And in the session view we have this special look and I have here four beats on four tracks. So we have four audio tracks, right? And I already placed four loops here. And the first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to play loops in time to make a little performance. And after that, I'll show you how to prepare your audio file that it works like this. So I first start my drum beat. And whenever I'm ready, I can start the bass, but it starts not immediately, it starts in time with the beat. The same with the chords. And with the string. And you also can use these little stop buttons here to stop your loop. So it's very easy to handle. But how do we make this possible that everything is in time and works together? For this we load a new audio file. Where do we get a nice beat? I would say let's go to mutant.com. If you don't know mutant.com, this is the best platform to get for free without a login, without a credit card, high quality samples. So we go here to beat and then we wait a little bit uh, because it's online. And then we want to take care that all the beats we find are in the right tempo. So I go to tempo and say I want something between 116 and 130. Immediately we can listen to the beats. Yeah, maybe this one is nice. Okay, or maybe we go to some percussion beats. Um, why don't we type in here the word percussion? I like that one, I click on free download and immediately we find this loop in our download folder and now we want to place it on a new track so I simply place it here in this empty area, immediately it creates a new track and here is my loop, right? I could place it on the same track and then we could change in time between these two loops or I could place it on a sec separate track. Let's try both. I make a double click on this beat. At the moment, it has a different tempo, right? We know this because it's written in the name. Here you can see uh, it's 125 beats per m. BPM, we have 118. So this is not working if we play our instruments and now we start the beat. It's not working because we have a different tempo. So we have to bring it to the same tempo at 118 BPM. So we double click it. We turn on the warp mode. The warp mode, if the warp mode is on, our loop has always the same, or is the same tempo like our song, right? And now we have to take care that we have here the right tempo. At a normal beat like this, 
Ableton is able to find the tempo by its own. If not, you have to type it in here. So you say U beat, you are 125 beats per minute. And now if we run everything together, it's in time. And even if we change the tempo of our song, changing with the tempo of the song. That's great. That's exactly what we need for a live performance. And uh, now let's stop everything to stop all the loops. There is a button on the master. Uh, with the square you can stop everything. Now even if I go to play, nothing is running. And now I start the first beat and then I change between these two beats. And here we go. And you see it's always in time, it's always changing on the next bar. But if I want to play them on the, uh, at the same time, I place, it as, as, I place it on a separate track. This is our extra beat, or why don't we call it top loop. That's a good name maybe. And now we play the main loop and now we add. Without. Wonderful. So now we could make a little live performance simply by clicking these buttons here. Yeah. Uh, we, in, in this case, we would have to wait until the end of four bars before we start the next one. So, but there is another option that you can, um, what you can do to make an inspiring live performance. You can use the master channel to start all the clips at the same time, like this. And why could this be useful? Because now you could use the scenes, every raw is called a scene, right? Uh, to create your live performance. So uh, let's bring down all the loops a little bit. At the first scene, I just want to hear the full beat. We can also click here and type Command R or Control R and to rename it, right? And now we say beat. And on the second slot, now I use the Alt or Option key to copy this loop. And here we add our top loop. And we just call it top, so we know we add here the top loop. And we copy again with by, by holding down the optional Alt key, everything, and at the base, at the chords, then at, or maybe first at the string and then the chords, right? So like this, here's all together. And now we want to create a little break, so we just play our chords and the strings and after that we play the beat and the bass together. All right, so why don't we listen to what we have? We start with the beat. Whenever we are ready, we click the next scene so we would start this and the top loop. start here in additional to start the whole scene. And stop. Yeah. 
Now we forget something very important. All these files are in a loop, but this top loop plays eight bars and then it stops. So how can we change this? Very simple. Let's select everything, all, all the top loops. And now we turn on here this button where it says loop. And now we hear this extra eight bars in a loop. So, but here's a very important point. You don't want to use in a live performance these little errors here because the chance that you make a mistake is really big. So for this, it's very useful to use a MIDI controller. I have here the mini lab of Arturia, but you also can use any other MIDI controller that has some buttons, MIDI keys or knobs to uh, con uh, control your um, loops here. So we stop everything and now we push this button here that says MIDI. And now I want to automate this uh, button here. And so I click first on this button to say Ableton, I want to find a controller for this button. And now I could use one of the buttons of my Arturia or I also could use the normal keys. Uh, because later I want to play the keys, I use now the button, but it's nothing else than a normal MIDI key. Click. And now you see, yes, you were sending controller uh, uh, note number 10. No, uh. And now you see here we were sending C1 at MIDI channel 10 to control this button here. And now let's check it out. I click again on MIDI to go out of the MIDI learn modus. And now I click this button. It works wonderful. So let's do the same with the top loop. But number two, let's do the same with the bass. Let's do the same with the chords. And let's do the same with the melody. Wonderful. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E1. And now let's try to create a little performance. Everything works wonderful and we can do the same with the scenes. Uh, this time I don't use the buttons, this time I'm using the MIDI keys. So we go here to beat and say the first button is for the beat, the second button is for the top, the third is for the bass and so on. Let's check this out. Wonderful. Instead of any MIDI controller that you can use, you also can use the keys of your keyboard. So let's say I want to find something for... Um, for this button here, I want to control with the letter Q. The next button, I want to start with W. And the next, I would like to start with the E. Alrighty. Again, to program MIDI controllers, you use these buttons here. And to program keys, 
you use the key button here and here we see QWE we programmed this three buttons here so let's check this out Works great. In the next video, I will show you how to play keyboards and synthesizer phrases in real time and bring them in a loop in your performance. Thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine.